Okay, welcome back. Now that we have made our very first broadcast message, I'm going to show you how to make another one. So we can broadcast as many different messages as we want. So the cat broadcasts the first message. I'm going to click on weird fishy dude. Um, I want him to broadcast a message after he said that he likes basketball. Again, you're on Gobo. Gobo is his name Gobo? I don't know what he is. Um, you're on his brain. I want you to click events. I want you to grab this broadcast block again. Now it's defaulting that he's going to say he's going to broadcast the cat message. I don't want to broadcast that message. I'm going to hit the drop down. I'm going to hit a new message. Let's call this basketball. You can call it whatever you want. But he's going to send out this secret basketball message, which is only exciting um, if people respond to that message. So we're going to make people respond in just a second. So make sure you grab your broadcast, switch it to basketball, and then we're going to make a response. Now, if I want to, I can make any of these people respond to basketball, and you can make them dance, you can make them talk, you can do whatever you want. But what I really want to do here um, is, following me visually down here, I want to click on the stage. Now this is weird because the stage is just, you know, the background, but the stage can actually have something in his brain. So what we're going to do, click on the stage, Let's say when I hear someone say basketball, now I could respond to either message. I want to respond to basketball. And what I want to do is I want to, in my looks, switch to the basketball court. So the fish broadcast the message, the stage heard the message, and did responded to it. So now you're going to see something amazing, the cat broadcasts a secret message, they both respond, the fish broadcasts a message, and the backdrop responds, which is amazing. Now, um, let's do another thing. Let's hop on red, whatever this thing is. I'm going to show you another event. Now, it's an event that's pre-made, we've just never used it. If I hop on the red dude, um, take a look at this. This says when the backdrop switches to the basketball court. So I could say you got all sorts of like secret messages and events going on. So I could say in the red dude's brain when we switch to the basketball court, um, you could do you can make him dance, you can make him do whatever. Um, let's have him say. Let's go to the beach. Burp. So again, um, it's almost like playing tag. They kind of send secret messages, hand off control of the program. He does this. He says basketball. The backdrop hears it. And then he heard when you landed on that backdrop and said that. Now, here's, here's your mission to finish this out. Your mission is um, that I want you to use another, put, you know, practice this without me. I want you to try another ev broadcast event. See if you can cause um, a broadcast event to happen that makes them actually go to the beach and then they, they can all dance at the beach. So that's my vision is that I want you to finish this up by using another broadcast event to actually make them go to the beach and then look really happy when they're at the beach. I'll see you, I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about momentarily. Okay, so when you're done, you've got the sequence of events. He broadcasts the cat message. He, the, the fish broadcasts the basketball message. The red dude is going to broadcast a new message that you haven't made yet, and then they're all going to respond to that message. The backdrop and all three of them will respond to that message. Then you're done, and you're ready to upload that. So make sure you share it, and then copy and paste the URL to turn it in.